Shalom, Yashallah, Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of Yasharalim. Call Halonim Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Harak Kakudash, for blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwatim that's keeping the faith and the work. Shout keep at it. It's your brother Abai coming at you with more precepts. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 12, and verse 1. It says, Righteous art thou, O Yahweh, when I plead with thee. Yet let me talk with thee of thy judgments. Wherefore doth the way of the wicked prosper? Wherefore are all they happy that deal very treacherously? Right? So the prophet Jeremiah is asking the father, how come it look like you you um uh, you looking out for the wicked right now? It look like they prospering and it look like they're happy. Right? It says in verse two, it says, Thou hast planted them, yea, they have taken root. They grow, yea, they bring forth fruit. Thou art near in their mouth and far from their reins. Alright? Basically asking the same question again. It's like, man, they done took, they in power. Don't look like they coming down no time soon. And um, they bringing forth fruit. That means that this is a generation to generation thing. Verse 3 says, but thou, O Yahweh, knowest me. Thou hast seen me and tried mine heart toward thee. Pull them out like sheep for the slaughter. And prepare them for the day of slaughter. Right? And that's what's going on right now. The Most High is preparing the wicked for the day of, uh, of slaughter. That's why the wicked are moving so fast towards their agenda with the sticker bushes. Right? It says, How long shall the land mourn and the herbs of every field wither for the wickedness of them that dwell therein? The beasts are consumed and the birds because they said he shall not see our last end. Right? So the earth is mourning. The land is mourning. The trees are mourning. The beasts of the field are mourning. The birds are mourning because the wicked are prosperous in their world. Job 9, 24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? And they don't want this kingdom to ever end. But the Most High is showing signs that it's over with, right? Of course, the major sign is the, um, the laws that they are uh, about to pass and have passed in certain areas that's mandating... Um, the sticker bushes to be had in order to operate in society somewhat freely, right? The signs of uh, World War Three with China, Russia, America, right? UK, France, so forth and so on. The Jacob's trouble through the division of said sticker bushes that they are trying to mandate everybody get. All right? It's it. It's over with. It's a wrap. All right? But the point I wanted to bring out was Jeremiah 12 and 4. How long shall the land mourn and the herbs of every field wither? For the wickedness of them that dwell therein, the beasts are consumed and the birds because they said he shall not see our last end. Right, the herbs of the field withering because they poison in the air. Right, how you poison air? You breathe air, but you poison in the air. Come on, man. Right, how much? How much more wicked can you get, man? So, it's a lot. One second. Has been paying a lot of attention to the COVID pandemic and our health and the rules that we need in place to try and keep us safe. Who's been paying attention to the companies that don't give a hoot, generally speaking, about our health or 
our environment for that matter, if it gets in the way of their bottom line, money. And is it possible that the detection of dangerous drinking water in Chicago, maybe even the mysterious deaths of birds along the East Coast, may be the result of not enough people paying attention to certain people or certain companies? We begin today with Trinity Chavez and the latest on the mystery along the East Coast of the United States. Today, a mysterious illness among birds sweeping the U.S. Hundreds of birds becoming ill or dying in parts of the South and Midwest with no explanation. At least six states have reported an increase in sick or dying birds in the past month. The most commonly affected birds are blue jays, common grackles, and European starlings. However, experts say more species may be affected. Wildlife officials say victims are suffering from eye swelling, crusty discharge, swollen faces, and cancer fly. Washington, Virginia, West Virginia, and Maryland, the first states to begin receiving reports, as well as neurological signs in late May. And in Kentucky, the Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources is asking the public to report any encounters with sick or dead birds. Meantime, in Ohio, the state's wildlife center said it's working with authorities there to help determine what might be causing local birds to become so sick, saying in a Facebook post, we have been admitting lots of baby birds to our wildlife hospital and we want to make sure that we are admitting and treating animals that are injured, truly orphaned, or sick. This while Indiana wildlife officials say they have tested birds for avian influenza and the West Nile virus, but the samples have come back negative. Now officials are urging that bird feeders and baths should be cleaned immediately with 10% bleach solution and people should avoid handling birds. Now this mysterious outbreak is baffling scientists. However, some believe that the surge in illnesses and deaths could be attributed to a widespread infectious disease outbreak. However, a definitive explanation is not yet known. Reporting the news for Rick Sanchez, Trinity Chavez, RT. To try and really figure this out is Madeline Penley from the legendary legal term for, pardon me, of Levin, Papantonio and Rafferty. Let's start with these uh, forever chemicals, Madeline. Uh, what is it? So this term, forever chemicals, typically encompasses a class of chemicals known as PFOS, which most notably includes things like PFOS and PFOA. And it's important to understand that these aren't natural chemicals. They were invented specifically by DuPont and 3M to be used in their Teflon and other nonstick products. So when they were manufacturing these products, chemicals were released into the waterways, and now they're in essentially everybody's blood at some level. So these chemicals have made their way around the world, which is incredibly concerning. One in the water, man, in the damn water. All right. They got chemicals, toxic chemicals in the water that will be in your bloodstream forever. They call them forever chemicals. Ain't that some? And now it ain't got to the point to where animals are dying. And people were wondering, damn, why are these animals just falling out the sky by the bundles, man? Birds just falling out the sky. It's because, and you can see this, all you got to do is walk outside, look up, look at them so-called clouds. If the clouds look like strings, those are man-made. Those are chemicals. Those are chemtrails. And they put them things in the air all the time. No one questions these things, though, outside of the people that operate in the spirit of truth. You tell the average so-called black man, so-called Native American man, so-called Hispanic man about chemtrails, they'll laugh at you, man, because they stupid. Just being real. John, uh, Jeremiah 422 says the most highest people are sodish children. That, that literally means stupid. I mean, it would be an insult if it wasn't true, but it's true. All right? You have an enemy, man. You need to deal with that ASAP. All right? Because this enemy is making a move on you. And you too stupid to see it. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm not speaking to the people that operate in the spirit of truth. We know, we know what time it is. And uh, we're getting our mind right, our spirit right, the best way we can. And that's all by uh, believing in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Because that's it. 
that's it, man. We living in their world behind enemy lines. We don't own nothing. Don't we control zero, right? It's gonna take divine intervention to get us out of this plight. And the most high is not gonna get all his people out of this plight. Like he did in, in times of old when you read scripture and you hear that the most high went and saved all of Israel. It ain't gonna happen that way this time. This time the most high has drawn a line. And that line has been drawn for the believers and the unbelievers. If you are an unbeliever, that means you have been put in that two-third ranking. If you're in that two-third ranking, your ass going to get put to death. But if you're in that one-third ranking or that 144,000 ranking, salvation is for you. Right? And what do we need salvation from? Our damn enemies that try to kill us on a day-to-day -day basis. Like I said, they poison the air. They poison the water. They poison the food. They poison your knowledge, right? They give you pseudo-intellect, pseudo-science, man, and claim it to be true. These people want you dead, right? Like I said, the sooner you realize that, the better off you'll be. These chemicals are in the environment. They stay there for conservatively up to a million years. Oh, my God. So we have a very significant widespread problem. I'm thinking uh, while we have all been worried about the COVID-19 situation, uh, meanwhile, who knows what some of those companies like the ones you just mentioned have been doing. And as I watch birds just dropping out of the air all over the eastern part of the United States, one wonders if that might be the problem as well, that kind of pollution and contamination. It may be, and unfortunately with, with these birds, any number of things could be causing this issue. However, what we do know is when birds were, would fly over these PFOS or C8 facilities back in the day, many of them would drop to the ground and die um, because these chemicals are so toxic. So it's not something that we can rule out at this point. Most importantly, though, I think this signals that something is wrong in our environment and we need to be yes. paying attention. Yes, absolutely. Uh, the canary in the mine, as they say. Uh, let me ask you this as right. well. I'm wondering, what you just described to us exists in water mm -hmm. all over the United States. Children are drinking it. Uh, yes. People are drinking it. It's in our food supply. It's, it's, it's in so many things that we think is safe. W why isn't this a bigger right. deal? Why, why? Yeah, who put it, though? The same people that's mandating you take the sticker bush are the same individuals who put that toxic stuff in the water. It's the same individuals who told you it's okay to drink it, who told you that nothing will happen if you drink this water. You really don't know the effects of all of the different poisons that we ingest on a day-to-day -day basis until you get old, right? When you get old, then you start feeling it and, and, and um, seeing all of the after effects of everything that you've ingested throughout your entire life, right? This is righteous or unrighteous, even if you're on your righteous tip, man, because we don't control anything. And these people know who we are, right? They know what keeps us away from our father. You can read Judah 5, Judah in the book, in the Apocrypha, the book of Judah, chapter 5 and verse uh, 20, I believe. It's, that's the plot. As long as they keep us in sin, that keeps us away from our father and keeps them ruling the world, right? So a lot of these products that we ingest, we don't really know what's in it because they don't put it plainly on the side of the box or whatever it is you got that product in. You have to righteously have a scientist type mind to understand what the hell you eating. Right? You really got to do research as it pertains to the ingredients in food and water and different things. right? And these same individuals who putting out, pumping out this poison and have been pumping out this poison in our veins and in our ingest uh, in our in our system, so long are the same people that are telling us we're stupid for not trusting that they have our best interests in mind with these new developments of today as it pertains to the sticker bush. All right, keep your eyes open, man. Keep your head on the swivel. Why isn't this the lead story on CNN and the front page story and the New York Times? 
the simple answer is the issue with corporate media, which I'm sure you understand. So the industry itself desperately tried and continues to try to make this story go away. So two examples would be when the movie The Devil We Know came out, DuPont freaked out, said they're going to sue everybody involved in production, you know, because it was just wholly inaccurate, which they never did, by the way. Mm. When the movie Dark Waters came out, which is which is the story of DuPont, same thing. They tried everything they could to shut it down. So See, I try to tell you, man, they put truth in their movies. But when you tell the average Israelite, right, the Israelite that don't know that they Israel, or don't believe that they Israel, when you tell them that they put truths in their films, they laugh, they mock. Why? Because they stupid as hell. These niggas is dumb as hell, man. These niggas is dead asleep in the American dream that ain't for them. They niggas don't even understand this, man. The American dream is to have you a slave. Period. Point blank. Whether you're a billionaire or whether you live in paycheck to paycheck, they want you to be a slave. That's the American dream, man. It ain't got nothing to do with you, Yashala. From a news standpoint, corporate media is totally reliant on advertising dollars from these big companies like DuPont and 3M. So if these companies don't like it, corporate media doesn't either. And we've seen that same trend in dozens of the biggest pharmaceutical cases time and time again. And these are not just big companies, by the way. These are some of the biggest companies in the history of the world, no less. And if they don't exactly. want CNN exactly. or NBC or ABC to do a story, I almost can guarantee you they make sure it doesn't happen. Here. Okay, so this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 33 and verse 1. It says, Woe to thee meaning death and destruction to thee that spoilest, that means that robs, and thou wast not spoiled, and dealest treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled, and when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. Right? So when that time comes, everything that the most, everything that, um, the Most High has allowed our enemies to do to us, he's going to give us that same privilege and we're going to be able to do it to them. Right? It's only right, man. These people have never paid for anything that they have done. Never. Ever. And they don't plan on paying for it. That's why they're so quick to say let the past be the past. That's so old. That was so long ago. Forget about that. This the melting pot. We need to move on. It's 2021. That's why they keep saying that because they want you to forget it. Right? But scripture tells us to forget not. Don't forget your past, man. You remember that and hold on to it. That's the fuel to uh, um to um the vehicle of your faith. Right? That's the fuel for your for the vehicle of you holding down this truth because you fully understand the real about this world. And if you fully understand the real about this world, ain't no time to be going back to sleep. That's over with. It's a wrap. You done seen too much. Right? You know too much to be talking about, I'm finna take my hand off the plow. Nah, it's time to keep on keeping on no matter what happens. And Yahweh Ratazah, that's what happens with you if you're watching. And me. We keep on keeping on no matter what. Them, 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 the devil say, well, if you don't take the sticker bush... You don't dive in head first in the sticker bush, then you can't do this, that, that, and the third. Then guess what? I'm not going to do this, that, that, and the third. I'm going to wait on my father, man. Right? I'm going to wait on my father to get me straight, to get me out of out of these situations, just like he's done in the past. Right? Let me see. Uh, Ecclesiastes... chapter 7 and verse 4 it says the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning right and we're mourning because we fully understand this is not our rest we wake up in hell every day man and wake up with pains every day because of um uh the different things that we have to uh go through you know it's, it's mentally straining to be in this position in this world man every day Right? It's spiritually hardening to be in this position every day. 
You see your people in this position every day. You see your enemies living it up in the lap of luxury with carefree. Right? And they wicked as hell. Wicked as hell. Filthy as hell, man. These niggas don't even bathe they ass, man. I'm talking about the celebrities of them do not wash themselves. Them niggas go days without washing. How you go days without washing, man? You use the bathroom every day. How do you go days without washing? And these are the base people that are ruling over us, that are telling us what we need to put inside of our bodies, and we stupid if we don't listen to them. Man, stop. Miss me with it, man. Miss me with it. Right? It says, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Niggas can't see, niggas can't tell the difference between the end time and just a regular day, man. That's why Matthew 24 said it'd be just like the days of Noah. People going to be partying, getting it up, right? And all hell breaking loose around them and they can't see it. Because the Most High didn't give them an eye to see and an ear to hear. But if he gave you that, then all praise to the Most High, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Right? And Most High willing, we, we maintain that all the way into the kingdom. So I'm going to end it here, man. Most High willing, these precepts in this video were edifying. Call on Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Kakudash. Shalom, Yahshallah.